So you're thinking about moving to Linden, Washington. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you through Linden, showing you three different homes and three different price points to help you better understand how far your dollar might go. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna provide a market recap as well as an overview on Linden to help you better understand this area. We're gonna get started right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, we encourage you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on all the new content that we're releasing about things in Linden, Bellingham, Whatcom County, and the surrounding area. My name is Jeff Engen. I'm with MJB Real Estate Group out of Bellingham, Washington, and every day we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you who are considering a move to Linden, to Bellingham, to Whatcom County, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving tomorrow, 10 months from now, or sometime in between, I encourage you to reach out. All of my contact information can be found below and I'm standing by and ready to help in any way that I can. Without further ado, let's go explore Linden. So stop number one, we are here at 600 East Grover in Linden. Uh, this is currently on the market at $475,000. This is a three bed, one bath house at 1150 square feet. This home was built in 1926, but if you hop online and you look at the photos, uh, you're gonna be able to see that there's more than $100,000 in updates that have been done to this property. Uh, phenomenal central location. There is a bit of a, a you know high traffic area here on East Grover, but it puts you in great proximity to parks, to schools, to a golf course. Um, this would be a fantastic entry level, uh, you know, first home, starter home would also be a fantastic uh, investment property as well. So 600 East Grover is stop number one. Let's move on to spot number two. Stop number two, we're here at 2111 Lager Way Circle, and you're going to hear a little bit of construction noise around me. As, as I pan around, you're going to see that this is actually a brand new neighborhood that's just going in uh, as we speak. And so if this is a home that resonates with you, uh, you can anticipate that there's going to be plenty of options here in this neighborhood uh, in the weeks and months to come. So 2111 Lager Way Circle. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. It's just over 2,000 square feet. It's currently on the market at 699.9. And uh, this is a great convenient location to a variety of things here in Linden. So it's gonna be about a five minute drive from uh, Bender Fields where there's uh, soccer fields, baseball, softball fields, basketball courts, tennis courts, a nice park area. Uh, this is gonna be about a five, six minute drive from Homestead Golf Course. And this is gonna be less than 10 minutes from uh, Front Street. So kind of the core downtown area for Linden. Uh, so looking for new construction, looking for something bright and clean built in 2022. This just might be a great spot for you. Let's go check out house number three. All right, well, last but not least, we are here at 6870 Labello Drive in Linden. Uh, this is a brand new home built in 2022. It is a five bedroom, three bathroom home, just over 3,000 square feet, and it's on the market just under $1.5 million. Now, in addition to being a beautiful brand new home with a ton of space, it sits on a seven acre lot, so tons of privacy. Uh, it's tucked away behind an established neighborhood here in Linden, uh, of which most of is surrounded by agriculture uh, in the form of blueberry fields. So fantastic, quiet, private location that's still convenient to town. It's uh, less than a 10 minute drive to kind of the downtown core Linden area. It's about a 20 minute drive from Bellingham. So definitely the most expensive property we've seen today offering the most space, both in terms of the interior of the home and the size of the, uh, the yard. Uh, but we've seen three homes, three different price points, three different locations. Um, as promised, we're gonna head back to my office and do a quick recap uh, of the market in Linden, Washington, as well as uh, a brief overview of Linden and the unique value proposition of living here. All right, so back in my office, and as promised, we will do a brief overview of Linden as well as a market recap. Uh, as far as the, the overview uh, goes, the things that I like to cover in the overview are the location, the population, weather, uh, earning potential, and in this case, things to do. If you've seen some of my other videos, Blaine, Bellingham, Ferndale, um, we talk about recreation is kind of the fifth thing, but in this case, mix it up a little bit. Let's talk about things to do. So first things first, let's talk about location. Okay, so location of Linden. Uh, it's gonna be central, north central uh, Whatcom County. If you're looking on the map, you're gonna see that it's not all that far from uh, the Canadian border. In fact, it's just six miles from Linden proper up to what is called the Alder Grove Linden Crossing. Linden being on the US side of the border, 
Alder Grove BC being across the other side. And that is a crossing that of course you can take if you're coming out of Linden to get up to Vancouver uh, to go really anywhere else in, in BC or you know Canada as a whole for that matter, but, uh, but just six miles. Now, if you are going to head uh, to BC from Linden and go that route through Alder Grove, it's about 47 miles up to Vancouver. Uh, travel time on that is gonna be about an hour and a half. And that of course is gonna be dependent upon your weight at the border as well as the traffic that you might experience once you get across. But on average, about an hour and a half's time. Uh, the Alder Grove Crossing does tend to be less busy, significantly so, than the Peace Arch Crossing, um, which is the, the main uh, I-5 uh, crossing there right through Blaine. So uh, sometimes people will look at the wait time of the Peace Arch Crossing and decide they're gonna go east over to Linden to cross that way instead. Um, hour and a half up to BC, not all that far. Uh, from Bellingham, which is the, the major city, uh, the biggest city in Whatcom County, it's going to be 15 miles north. So travel time down to Bellingham is going to be about uh, 30 minutes, give or take, depending on where you're coming from. Uh, and then last but not least, 102 miles north of Seattle. Now, a couple options in terms of that travel time down to Seattle. Um, that's going to take about two hours from Linden. And you could come down to Bellingham and get on I-5. You could also cut across uh, over to Ferndale. And, uh, and jump on I-5 there. So approximately two hours down to Seattle, approximately an hour and a half to Vancouver, BC. Uh, despite the fact that you're living in this, uh, this you know, small, uh, relatively rural, uh, Dutch-inspired town uh, of Linden, uh, you've got great accessibility to these major cities, uh, all you know, without, without much of a drive. Uh, we always do encourage that if you're gonna be going to Vancouver, to Seattle, that you check the travel app on your phone to get a sense of what that travel time is really gonna look like based on that day. And if you're planning a trip for weeks out, uh, you can always look at a uh, variety of websites online that'll give you estimates for travel times based on day of the week, hour of the day, uh, all that good stuff. Okay, so thing number two to touch on is the population of Linden. Now, population as of the 2020 census is over 16,000 people that are living in Linden. Uh, Linden is kind of neck and neck with Ferndale in terms of population size, uh, Ferndale being approximately 15, 16, some odd thousand uh, people there as well. Uh, where things get a little bit uh, fuzzy is with regards to uh, Ferndale having much more in the way of unincorporated uh, population, so in the county areas of Ferndale, that when you factor those in, it's more like 30,000. So compare and contrast to the major cities in Whatcom County, you've got Bellingham at north of 90,000. Uh, you've got Ferndale in that 15 to 30,000 range, depending on how you look at it. You've got Linden at 16,000, and then you've got Blaine uh, at around 6,000. And so your uh, total in Whatcom County as a whole is approximately 225,000 people. All right, so the next thing we wanna talk a little bit about is weather. If you've not spent a lot of time in the area, you're relying on the information that you've heard about the Pacific Northwest, you might be under the impression that, uh, that we get a lot of rain. And to some degree that's true, but I always like to kinda of, uh, provide some context with regards to what that actually looks like as opposed to just uh, allowing you to continue with that presumption that it's just perpetual rain here in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, first things first, talking about uh, average temperatures. So Average high in the summer months in Linden, 73 degrees. Average low in the winter months, 34 degrees. Uh, all things considered, compare and contrast to other parts of the country where you've got these bigger, uh, more extreme uh, temperatures, both on the high end and the low end. Uh, all things considered, very comfortable. In the summer months, uh, in those 70 degree days, we're getting 16 some odd hours of daylight, with the sun coming up in the five o'clock hour, going down in the nine o'clock hour. In those winter months with that 34 some odd degrees, uh, days can be as short as eight hours of daylight, which is a little bit tough to get through for the short period of time that that exists. But all things considered, especially in the summer months, if you go on bestplaces.net and you look at the comfort index for Linden, for Bellingham, Whatcom County, you're gonna see it's above nine on a scale of one to 10. Uh, and it's because it's a very uh, enjoyable temperature and a relatively low humidity. So. Uh, talking a little bit about rain specifically, Linden gets an average of 41.5 inches of rain per year uh, versus other parts of the country averaging 38 inches of rain per year. Now the difference being that Linden gets approximately 159 days of sun, approximately 163 days of precipitation, 
uh, versus maybe national average of 205 days of sun uh, and maybe as low as 100, 105 some odd days of precipitation. So the total accumulation, not tremendously different, a couple inches. Uh, the difference being the period of time uh, over which that accumulation uh, is collected. So, right, so the next thing we want to touch on just briefly is earning potential here in Linden. Now we're relying on a little bit of dated information going back to the 2020 census, but at that time the average household income in Linden was $66,500. Uh, the biggest employer in Linden is actually the Linden uh, School District. And so, uh, as you might imagine, there's a lot of small and medium-sized businesses that are in Linden. Um, there's not a lot of large corporations that are in the Linden area. And so for a lot of people that may look like, uh, you know, living in Linden, but commuting uh, to Bellingham or perhaps even further away for employment. Uh, and of course, over the last couple of years with COVID and the shift in remote work and the ability to live and work in very different places than may have been the expectation before uh, is of course having a, a dramatic uh, impact on earning potential in any given area certainly would be true for uh, for Linden as well. Hey, last but not least, before jumping into a quick market recap is, uh, is things to do in Linden. And I've just picked three um, certainly there are more depending on what types of activities you enjoy doing, but the three things I would encourage you to do if you're coming to, uh, to visit and explore Linden, especially if you're considering living here, uh, making a move to this area would be to number one, go and explore the downtown area. So Front Street, lots of shops, restaurants, the Linden Inn. Uh, there's a lot of great things to see, to eat, to drink uh, up and down uh, Front Street in Linden. So stop number one, explore that downtown core area. Uh, and get a feel for all the great things that are going on there. Number two, uh, as according to uh, recommendations of TripAdvisor, is to take a look uh, at the Linden Pioneer Museum. Now, with regards to small independent museums, uh, phenomenally well regarded, lots of cool things to see there, lots of history uh, with regards to uh, you know this, this uh, Dutch-inspired uh, community of which is the result of a, of a lot of Dutch immigration to this area going back years and years ago, uh, speaking to the agricultural roots of the community. That's a really cool spot for you to check out. And then last but not least, would head down the guide a little bit to a place called Bellwood Acres. Now Bellwood Acres uh, has a lot for you to see and do, and depending on the time of the year, is going to have different and unique options for you. Uh, Bellwood Acres originally started as, uh, as, a, as an apple orchard, uh, so they're still growing phenomenal apples today, the favorite uh, for me personally of which is the Honeycrisp. Uh, but they've got a cafe, they actually have a distillery, uh, and depending on the season, you can go for apple picking, you can go to the pumpkin patch, you can go for Christmas trees, uh, and depending on that season, there are typically activities that, um, that they're hosting uh, to, uh, to entertain the, the family as a whole. So Bellwood Acres, not to be missed if you're coming to the Linden area. That's a spot that we like to take our family at least a couple times a year. Uh, to participate in those different seasonal activities. All right, so last but not least, as promised, we're just gonna do that really brief market recap of Linden. So as the time of filming this video, uh, there are 71 homes that are on the market in Linden. Uh, this ranges all the way from a, a $250,000 manufactured home, all the way up to a $1.65 million, four bed, three and three quarter bath, 4,200 square foot home, uh, on just shy of an acre. Now the average sales price here in Linden at this point in time is 669,000. So, uh, you know, there in the middle, you can see that there's a big disparity in terms of that low end, that high end. Um, but again, coming in in the mid 600s for an average price of a home. Average days on market uh, is going up a little bit over what it would have been in the months past, but uh, currently at 17 days on market with about two months of inventory currently on hand. So. Uh, that is the current conditions of the market here in Linden. You know, bringing it all together, uh, if you're looking for a place that is uh, beautiful, that is comfortable, that is small, uh, but also gives you great accessibility to these major metropolitan areas of Vancouver, Seattle, um, uh, without all of the headache of living in uh, those areas, dealing with traffic, dealing with large populations, uh, and you can deal with a few more days of rain than you might be accustomed to now in exchange for these fantastic summers, well then, Linden could be a good spot for you. Hey, one last time, I encourage you to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up on all the videos that we're releasing about Linden, about Bellingham, about Whatcom County. Um, again, all of our contact information can be found below and uh, would encourage you to reach out in whatever way is most convenient to you. 
Would love to be of help to you in any way that I can. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much.